say hello in Iranian? Do you want to go? It's a nice sort of chaos, isn't it? They say you're only you're only seven people from meeting everyone in the world. Sometimes here I feel like you're only five people away. I have a 12th grade class this year, 12 of them, one of me, and we together had made up 13 nationalities. I think ISP has a history of being that little bit quirky. You've got that city feel to it. There's lots of movement around from one place to another. We've gone from three buildings many years ago to, I think we're up to eight now. So there's a lot of different spaces to be in, lots of different things to be doing. I live down by uh, Radio France. Um, and it was, a, I walked along the river, you know, to get to school every day. There's something really quite amazing about that. Pretty much any corner you turn, there's some wonderful piece of history and wonderful piece of architecture, or wonderful piece of culture, and that it's part of your route and part of your scenery. And I just think that's, that's incredible. They all arrive with preconceptions, but their own way is the best. They come with ideas and they leave with other ones. It's the opening of, of minds. It's about seeing people as they are and then seeing them develop and grow. Well, I come from the UK, Scotland and England. It's a country in Europe and in Scotland the national dress is kilts. And also in Scotland they are the national drink. It, the national drink for adults is whiskey. B is two nine. Right, let's see what happens when we get that. Now the ISP ideal is a very, very strong one, yeah, and it comes from the teachers. Yeah. And that's from the, the ones who've arrived, just new in the school, right through to the people who, who've been here for 20 years. It was happier. They've all got energy. Turn around things with mood can completely change with the music that you choose. We've got students who they arrive at different times right the way through the year and I think one of the things that they, they feel right from the very start is about the openness, the ability to say you're a family. Like my children, I met many mothers from everywhere in the world. So we have a very good group, very international group uh, work together. We support each other, welcome the, to the new family and help new family. It's about that human contact, that human interaction. And the school doesn't just live in the classroom. They're preparing for plays, they're organizing debates, they're sports trips. Uh, biology trips, geography trips. The school's all over. If parents ask me, you know, why would they choose the school, I think 
the major spontaneous things I would say is the way we behave with children, the way children behave with us as well. The rapport between the families in the school, the community, and very supportive, you know, for each other. Well, this was the first time we did a play in the English class, but we're doing another big play called Aladdin. I'm um, a market lady, and I'm also part of the dances. That's the autumn evening. Oh. We do a lot of fun stuff. We play mind trap games, and we read all sorts of stories. We first we were reading heroes, like Asterix and Odyssey, and now we're doing detective stories. One of my friends is called Pluny, and she's from Holland. And another one of my friends is called Kifu, and she's half Greek and half Filipino. And another one of my friends is called Noam, and she's from Israel. One of my best friends left the school, and I was very upset, and she's now in Tokyo. We write to each other. The beauty of working with little children is uh, extremely rewarding. They give you back. You know, the goodness you give them. They give you pictures or they write a little note to you. I've been teaching history since I started here in September of 1985. I don't think I've had two years where I've taught it the same way. The French army is basically waiting outside Paris to come in and crush the, crush the Parisians. It's like a civil war, really. Okay. I mean, you have to get them to question from time to time. Now, they have an exhibition. Do you remember anything on, on, on the Third Republic at all? You could do your coursework on this exhibition if you wanted to. And getting them to talk and that they've thought about what they say. I have them present 45 minutes sort of every couple of weeks on what they've been reading. And sometimes, you know, what I love, I came out of class today, you know, a student gave me the New York and said, read this article, I think you'll enjoy it. I can remember when we were 17, we'd have discussions about life, death, you know, dictatorships, and we'd be 17 and we all had our opinions. Our teachers, they were feminists, they taught us how to respect the environment. They taught us to be good people and intelligent people. When we come out of that school, you know, we have, we have minds of our own, we can think, we have opinions. I had uh, Mrs. Habibi for, for the extended essay. I had just read Slaughterhouse-Five. And, of course, it has the bombing of Dresden in it. And so I thought that would be an interesting topic. And the extended essay, you know, I mean, Sasha's case, it's exceptional in the sense that it just reminded me of the time, because I'd just started university in 73 when Allende's regime was, was overthrown. And I remember feeling very emotional about it. And it was interesting seeing a person so many years later, you know, to go through the same thing and coming up and being angry about it. Going to school in Paris, in general, <laughs> um, I think the the fact that you know you'd walk one block down the street and there's the Seine and the Eiffel Tower right in front of you, and then of course you know you go up the street the other way and you're at Trocadéro, just to see that every day. Kind of to sometimes take you know the Eiffel Tower for granted, you stop looking at it, but I think you always realize that you're walking past the Eiffel Tower every day to go to school. I feel very lucky to just experience what I experienced. These were really some of the best years of my life. I ended up staying in France. I had to go into first year medical school, take an exam at the end of the year. We were 750 people. Only 100 people were gonna make it. A lot of people were telling me, you know, you didn't do a French baccalaureate, you're not gonna make it. You know, you're not as good as us. It proved how good the school was actually. I realized the IB program was actually a better program. More inclusive, more comprehensive. I ended up going into filmmaking after I left ISP and you know I've always been surrounded by very fascinating people. People from the whole world. I think the interesting thing has been 
studying people, studying their behavior, how difficult and also how wonderful it can be to try and adapt to a new culture, um, respect its ways and get it to respect your ways. I love diversity. I love going abroad. I love traveling. I love discovering new cultures. I love different foods. <laughs> I love going to Chinese and Indian and French and Arabic restaurants. I love that. And basically, I have a very open-minded outlook. I'm uh, 28 and I'm still eager to learn and I'm still eager to discover and I love difference. Each building has its own echo, huh? uh, resonance. You could hear the math teachers doing math up here, the music teachers doing music here, the little ones having uh, the snacks, and you know you could hear the entire life of the school. And then at night, when everybody's gone, the noise in the windows or the weed, the school life same noise singing, happy people, you know, they're not worried about what's happening, you know, it's the style of freedom. <laughs>